Okay guys, so today I wanna to talk all about Capture, what it is and what you get for different licenses and, and the prices for each. Um, now this is a visualizer program. As you can see, this is like a little demo show I have from another project. Uh, and this is the kind of things you can do. You can visualize your stuff and kind of build the whole thing at home or you know at a studio or something before you actually go out and do it in real life. So you get a lot done before you even show up to the job and then you tweak it on set or, or at the live event or whatever you're gonna do. So in my opinion, if you're just starting out with like a visualizer program, this is probably the best for the money you can get. There are some free options out there, um, but this really gives you everything and anything you would need to build the set. As you can see, there's different views here. We have a live view on this side, and then over here is where you can swap between your front, your right, um, and then start putting in trust, putting in um, people, and kind of building like a fake um, setup, and then start programming your lights from there. So, so if we come over to the project window here, this is where you're gonna be doing everything. Um, you got your design tab, fixtures tab, where you patch in your fixtures. Um, universes tab, where you can connect to your console, either being Wi-Fi or if that's hardwired, um, you can patch directly in and then work off the console. And it updates here in real time. If I just turn this one to another look here, you can see um, different looks I have set up for another project. Um, so that's where you would connect here and you can also see your DMX values coming in in real time um, right here which is cool. You got your media page, um, don't really use that much, snapshots and then library and this is where you bring in your objects like if you have some truss, there's a whole library they give you of truss, there's uh, fixtures, fixture symbols, gels, pretty much anything you could want in here. If there isn't what you want in here you can actually email them um, with your uh, fixture profiles or stats or whatever you want to call it and they can actually build one for you in actually pretty quick time I've heard it's less than a week sometimes if they're not busy um, But most of the big names are in here both like TV and film fixtures and also like live event fixtures So there's a combination a good combination of both now in, in the design tab This is where you can set up your different views. You know different layers different filters fixture groups scenes materials um, and a lot more so you can also do what's called plots here so when you're finally done with your plot sheet I can bring up a, another plot I have you actually can print this out so you can see each fixture on the sheet you could see each fixture and the fixture number if you have that uh, patched in and labeled so when you bring this to the show um, you have a layout and you could say okay you got one mover here and that the address is this and then the other mover that address so you can just give this to somebody and then they can pretty much build it for you if you have it all labeled uh, nice and neat, uh, which really saves time. You don't have to explain what the address is for one, what the address is for two. So here's a little um, plot view I did of another show. All my fixtures are here and they're color coded. Um, we've got some intimidator spots up here um, and you can see the fixture address 1.1, .1, which is universe one, and then uh, address one, and then fixture number 101. And then the next one starts on 15, the next one starts on 29, 43, and so on. So this is great to just give to your guy, whoever's building the set, and they can see, okay, well, we're gonna put a spot here or a mover here and, and so on. So it's really quick and easy. And there's a symbol key up here, and this is all customizable. You can have multiple layout views and export those. So you can have a top-down view, uh, this kind of view, and then like a side view if you wanted. And you can also make this, you can change the color of the truss, you can change the colors of everything. So it's really handy to have. So if you go to the actual Capture website, um, we're gonna go through there's different licenses of what you can get and how and what they give you so it's either for windows or mac you got both now there is a difference between there's a demo version and then there's a student version so the student version you can pretty much you can save projects let me scroll down to that here it is you get an unlimited amount of universes you can connect to it just like you would with the with a license um, but the the library for it is very limited they only give you like some basic things so you can't actually patch in um, your movers or different lights as you can see here they give you a very limited amount, so it's enough to where you can see if you like it, and then and then decide to buy it. You can you can save projects with the student version, but you can't export anything like an MVR or anything like that. Now the demo version, which you would download if you um, end up buying it, there's you you download the demo and then you plug in a license key to actually activate it. If you just download the demo version, you can use it the same way, but you can't save anything, and it automatically like um, shuts down the program after 30 minutes or so. It's it's there's a limit. But the student version is what you're gonna want if you just wanna test things out. Now, if you do end up buying this, what you're gonna eventually do is download this uh, capture library. This is what all of the um, fixtures and trusts and everything you would need for the importing is this file here. You download that and then you just um, 
you would import it in the program. Very simple to do and it's a very small file. And there's also some other ones here to download some sample projects if you like. Now let's go over to the pricing. So as you can see here, there's four different versions you can get. There's the solo edition, the duet, the quartet, and then the symphony. Now I have the solo version, which is uh, $399, which is just over 400, I don't know, $420, $420 with the, the VAT and whatever and the conversion. The solo version, you only get one universe. If we flip over to the pricing page here, solo, the solo, one universe, one local video, one streaming, and one laser feed. So if you're just starting out, that's the one you're going to probably want. Now, if you want to uh, go from there, you can do the duet, which is two universes, or the quartet, which is four, uh, four for everything here. And then if you get the symphony, which is 2200, which is quite a bit, so you would be doing something pretty big at this point, that's unlimited everything. And, the, you know, that's 2200, 1300 for the quartet, 800 for the duet. There are some other programs. If you're going to be getting the symphony, then... There's some other programs like Dependence or Depends, whatever you want to call it, uh, that are pretty up there. They're even better. They have more features and they're more realistic. There is this Dependence here, or Depends. Um, I don't have this one personally, but it's more real. As you can see, it's more realistic. It almost looks like AI, but you can do a lot more things in this, like Pyro and other stuff. So if you're going to be doing some big things, this would be the one to go to. And there's also um, Vectorworks, I think Spotlight. Uh, but that's on a subscription program, which is kind of a pain. The thing about Capture is you buy it once, and then you have it, and then you're good. You don't, there's no like monthly subscription thing, which everyone seems to be going to, which is really annoying. Something like Depends here, they have different versions. So you got your stage module and other modules. Um, and these get very expensive quickly, like buy once, cry once kind of thing. Vectorworks, you got to do subscription. It's just the way they are. If you're doing more stage plots and stuff... Um, and you want to learn Vectorworks and you're and most of the other people in your network are using Vectorworks, that would probably be the program to go to um, as you can easily go from the stage view and then ship that over to the, the Spotlight one and then go back and forth between their different um, programs. Now, exporting from Capture, you have kind of the same options. Um, a lot of times, Capture will import to other projects like Vectorworks. You can make it work. There's just a little bit of work around. Um, but it's not too big of a deal. So if I come up here and I go export like a uh, model and I scroll through here, you got different ones. You got your CAD view, your DWG, DF, D, uh, XF, your GLB, uh, GLTF, and then your MVR file, which is usually the main one you want. Um, and then the same thing if I come over to export fixture data. This is what you would be using if you're bringing this into like uh, MA or anything like that. Um, they have HOG on here. They have Grand MA2, which is also Grand MA3. Uh, XML file, and then the light write text uh, and tab separated file, the TSV. So they have pretty much everything you need to make it work. Now for the price, I think it's your best bang for your buck. If you're looking to get into something like this, definitely would recommend it, especially if you're using something like Blackout like I use. You can definitely set up your projects in here and make it work before you even get on set, which is very cool. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like, subscribe. If you want to know anything else about Capture or uh, DMX or whatever, let me know. Uh, we'll see you next week.